Racers Hot Rods, located in Daytona Beach, Florida. We are coming to you from our showroom today, located at 2385 South Ridgewood. Hangster's Garage, where we install automotive parts and accessories and sell automotive parts and accessories. So if you are watching one of our video presentations and you are interested in a different set of wheels and tires, or a disc brake conversion, or a vintage air kit, or you need a lift kit or for your truck or Jeep, you can do it here. Uh, if you're local here to us in Daytona, and of course if you're buying a car site on scene, we can do all of that prior to shipping it to you, providing the parts are available. We carry, we do carry a lot of items, but we do not carry everything. Hankstersgarage.com, check it out. You can also order automotive parts and accessories from there and have them shipped to you uh, all over the United States. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, which is hanksters.com. There you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos we leave up at all times between both of our stores. We use the same YouTube channel for both our PA and Daytona location. Our videos never come down. Even if they're shot eight years ago, they're still up there. However, when a vehicle is paid in full, it comes down off of our website letting you know if that particular unit is no longer available for sale. We are, uh, as I mentioned, we're in our uh, second location, which is Hangster's Garage, but our Daytona showroom is being remodeled right now. Uh, we should be done here in about seven days, and we'll be back to business as usual over there, shooting our videos and uh, showing you guys our new layout over there. So, soon. Novas are really hot right now. We sell them probably within seven to ten days of them going onto our website. Some don't even make the website because they're sitting in our showroom in Daytona. People come in, see them, drive them, buy them. This one happens to be a 1969 a 350 car. It is a four-speed. I will show you uh, when we're actually on a test drive, obviously, the uh, drivetrain uh, combination in the interior. Uh, the big gold cylinder in the uh, driver's side there up against the firewall, that is your power brake. So it does have power brakes. If you can see down low here, that is your power steering reservoir. So power brakes, power steering, 350 motor. Uh, no AC in the car, but as I mentioned earlier, if you're in the market for air conditioning in your Nova, we'd be happy to add that for you uh, for an additional cost. White car, no, it is not a real Yanko. It is done in a Yanko style. So uh, let's start off on the hood and the fenders. Uh, you got your Yanko uh, style striping there. It is a decal that's on there. Uh, on the hood scoop, gives the car a real nice pop. Uh, with the uh, raised white letter VFGs and then of course the white uh, paint on the vehicle. Hood itself, tops of the fenders, uh, real nice shape, uh, real nice paint on the car, no blistering, no cracking, uh, no fading, uh, definitely a, a nice paint job all the way around. SS style car, that's what we're going to go with because you know there's no way to fully prove uh, a Nova SS one way or another without a build sheet, so we're going to go with SS style. The uh, front bumper on the car looks to be new. Chrome's real nice. Uh, nothing's uh, pitted, nothing's flaking, no rust around the bumper bolts. Grill's in nice shape where that SS badging is. Of course, you got your blue bow tie up there on the nose of the hood. Taking a walk around the car, you'll see more of that fantastic paint job. Uh, the Yanko stripe starts out on the driver's fender, continues on the pass uh, driver door, and uh, obviously on to the quarter, uh, it's going to be the same on the uh, passenger side. 350 designation up front does uh, designate what you got under the hood. Uh, BFG radials, like I stated earlier, uh, beauty rings, everything looks good there. Uh, your paint on the uh, lower portion of the fender there in nice condition. Take a look at our window glass. Uh, up front here, I don't see anything cracked. I don't see anything chipped. Chrome around the front windshield is in nice condition. Dual chrome mirrors, one on the driver door, one on the passenger door. Body lines on the car are really nice. Uh, the Yanko stripe lines up nicely uh, all the way throughout the entire side of the driver's side of, of the car. Um, and then, you know, hopefully you can see down low there at the driver door, at the uh, rocker, uh, lower on the uh, quarter there, in front and behind the rear wheel. Everything's in nice shape. No blistering or cracking of the paint. Nothing uh, to be concerned with down low that you have to take to a body shop and have fixed. 
Uh, window glass, you know, appears to be a little older. Uh, does have, you know, some hard water stains. Uh, they're not terrible. They don't need to be replaced. Uh, you may or may not be able to pick up some of that in the video presentation and in our still photos, but uh, you do have some uh, faint scratching and faint water spots on the windows. Uh, the interior of the car is really nice. Uh, starting out with the driver door panel, you can see nothing's warped here. Uh, it is a uh, vinyl door panel. It's like that uh, you know cardboard backing type door panel that's typical on the Novas and on the Camaros and on the Chevelles. Uh, nothing's warped or uh, you know no screws run in them causing the door panel to bow out. The uh, armrest is in nice condition. Nothing's cracked or torn there. Car does have a pretty cool upgrade in interior in it. We will start out with the uh, back seat. You can see that the uh, rear seat has a cool like pattern to it, a uh, custom you know, uh, uh, pattern in the rear seat, not your standard uh, Nova interior. I think it personally looks cool. You know, you may or may not agree with me, but I, I, I like it. Uh, the interior headliner is new. Uh, does have a couple little wrinkles in it, but no rips, no tears. Uh, carpeting in the car looks to be newer as well. You can see the uh, carpet there. Floor mats, newer. Uh, driver's seat, again, new. The uh, the cushion there in a real nice shape. The uh, interior, the uh, material, uh, nothing's torn, ripped, faded, any of that fun stuff. Uh, the carpeting on the driver's side, uh, you know, again, much of the same. Nova steering wheel looks good. Upgraded auto meter gauge package. Custom built center consoles. This is uh, just who was car built. Uh, got a couple of storage compartments. Doesn't look terrible, but it's not factory. Cool. Good looking car on the inside. Again, the paint on the car, you know, definitely a nicer paint job. This was not a cheap paint job on the vehicle. The uh, paint on the roof. Uh, on the drop downs going to the rear quarter, on the rear quarter itself, everything's laid uniform. Uh, there's no debris in the paint. There's no uh, indication of any kind of improper prep work on the car. The paint presents itself very nicely. Rear window glass clarity. It looks good back there. Uh, chrome on the rear window in nice shape. The clarity of the glass looks to be in good condition. Your uh, hat rack back there in the back is not all faded out. The interior looks like it was done very recently. Now, I will show you here, and well, let me let me show you the deck lid first, then we'll talk about what's in the trunk. Deck lid's good to the rear quarters on both sides. The paint on the deck lid is good. No blistering, cracking, fading, fish eyes, debris, improper prep work, and whatever else may be a problem with the paint. It's a, it's a nice paint job. SS badging there in the center of the rear valance. Chrome on the rear bumper. Mirrors the uh, front bumper. They're both the same. You know, they, uh, they look like newer front and rear bumpers. Here's what I was going to tell you. Unfortunately, with the amount of cars we buy and sell and uh, market, I don't have the time to go through and read every last receipt when we have a binder of info like that. Um, I do skim through them real quick. This will come with the car, okay? I do skim through them real quick and look for significant receipts, you know, anything totaling like $1,500 or more. <clears throat> there is a notepad in there that says this uh, motor, the 350 in this car, was put in in 2019, May of 2019, and it had about 1,500 miles on it when it was put in, and it came out of a 1980 Camaro. So I don't have any proof of that. It's on a notepad in there. There are significant parts receipts in there from Summit, from Jags, from different uh, parts vendors. Uh, but the only thing significant I found in terms of paint or drivetrain, which I feel are significant receipts, that's really the only thing that I found. The little notepad in there, somebody heavily documented the restoration of this car. It looks like the majority of the restoration of this particular vehicle took place about three years ago. Uh, trunk's in nice condition. Uh, you can see no rust holes, no rod holes. Looks like a newer trunk mat. Uh, you do have a full-size BFG uh, spare in the vehicle. I don't know if I can manage to see... I do not feel or see a jack under there, so you're probably just looking at a spare. There, if, if there is a jack under there, it's a little tiny, one of those little tiny scissor jacks uh, that I can't see under the, under the wheel. Passenger side, same as the driver. 
The body lines on the car are really nice. When you look down the side of that car, you can't see any waves or ripples whatsoever. It's a really nicely done uh, vehicle. Again, your uh, lower portion there on your uh, rear quarter, behind the wheel, in front of the wheel, looks to be in pretty good condition. Yanko stripe lines up down the uh, passenger side, same as it did down the driver's side. <clears throat> By the way, black stripe, obviously, right? Uh, it's not faded, it's not cracked, it's not peeling. Uh, your drip rail moldings look to be good on both sides, driver and passenger. They look to be newer. Your uh, chrome around your uh, windows there, your vent uh, window, your uh, door window, your door glass, and of course your uh, rear quarter window there all look to be in nice condition as well. Passenger side is going to be the same as the driver. You know, door panels look to be, look to me, to be newer. Uh, the uh, driver seat, passenger seat, look like brand new. You got your four-speed in the floor. Again, that homemade center console. Uh, dash pad looks to be in pretty good condition up there. It's a nice little Nova. Check out the fitment of the passenger side door. It's nice. Uh, low there on the doors. Hopefully you can see there's no uh, blistering, bubbling, cracking on the, uh, on the door there. Same thing on the front fender. Check that out nice and close. All four wheels look to be in good shape. You've got still photos of those on the website. Um, I don't get down on my hands and knees and check, you know, every little scratch or imperfection on a wheel. So that's why we take real up-close photos of the wheels so you guys can see if there's any curb rash or any pitting of the chrome or anything uh, of those sorts. Again, Novas are a strong market for us. We do well with them. They sell quickly, especially one like this that's been very well cared for. Nice paint, real nice interior, four-speed car, 350 car. So uh, definitely has a lot going for it. I did a quick walk around presentation on this car. After this, we're going to do a quick little undercarriage presentation and then about a 10 minute test drive at that. But when you visit us here in Daytona, you can spend as much car time with the car as you would like to. We will let you drive it. We will let you rack it, check out the undercarriage. We will pull it outside for you. You can check out the paint in the natural light and the sunshine. We get plenty of sunshine here in Florida. So you can check out that paint real closely when you're outside. That's why we try to do our outside pans of the car, but uh, you know, if you're here, you can put your own eyeballs on it and your own hands on it. I do not encourage you guys to buy classic cars sight unseen. I encourage you to visit our dealership here in Daytona. You may not agree with me on this Nova. I think it's a nice car, but uh, you know, you may uh, be a, a more particular or more specific buyer, which is fine. That's why you come here and you look at the car for yourself and, and don't just take my word for it. Again, as I was saying, we do a quick little walk around, quick little undercarriage, quick little test drive. You can do all this, everything you see in this video, you can do while you're here in Daytona visiting our showroom. You can look at our entire collection of inventory, all of which we own, like I mentioned earlier. And uh, you, know, you can see our entire business operation and, and test drive and look at whatever car you're interested in. This way, when the car ships and arrives to you, wherever you might be in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself. The majority of our business is done sight unseen, and we make a lot of people happy. At the end of the day, we are an internet-based company. We ship most of our vehicles we sell each month out of here by bank wire transfer. And I've, I've got people to this day I've sold two and three cars to that I've still never met. Uh, so hopefully the longevity in this business, our longevity in this business, tells you something about our business model and what kind of quality and quantity of car we sell month after month and year after year. However, we all work hard for our money. So uh, nobody's a better judge of how to spend it than you are. Uh, and that's why if you come here, uh, you could check it out for yourself, 69 Nova or, or any other vehicle you might be interested in purchasing. Let's make that about five mile drive back to the showroom. We will uh, put the Nova in the air and check out the undercarriage and we'll do a short little test drive. It's a beautiful day in Daytona to do that. So we will do that before we conclude the video presentation. Uh, as I stated, I don't have any uh, history on the car. Rebuild the motor, rebuild the transmission, uh, rebuild, or, or I'm sorry, uh, when the car was painted. Uh, however, take a look at the side of the block there. You can see, you know, it looks like it's been freshly painted. We did not paint it. Uh, the uh, oil pan itself looks uh, to be dry both sides. Again, you know, we didn't paint the block. The, the side of the block there on the passenger side looks freshly painted. So. Those are usually good indications that the motor's been out somewhat recently. 
frame rails on the car look good, both sides, driver and passenger. <clears throat> uh, you can tell this car was not originally a four-speed car. You can tell the tunnel's been cut here. Um, not the cleanest job in the world, but not a terrible job either. You can see there's a seam there and a seam there to accommodate the uh, four-speed shifter going through the floor. Uh, so the tunnel, I've seen better, I've seen worse. So, but the overall, pretty nice. Uh, the floor pans on the car are very nice. One solid piece all the way from the front of the drivers to the uh, rear of the driver frame rail there. And uh, the passenger side looks like it had a section replaced up here. Uh, possibly at one time it looks like it goes across. So they cut the tunnel and maybe there was a bad spot there. So they cut the tunnel and put a piece there. Uh, the rest of the floor pan going back is solid. So again, uh, a, a patch, but a nice job. It, it looks to be, uh, you know, there's no holes or rust there now, so that's a good thing. Uh, the uh, motor has two exhaust manifolds coming off of it. Uh, exhaust pipes look good, no rust holes, rod holes, pin holes there. Uh, welds look decent. Uh, gonna go back into a set of uh, dual flow master mufflers on either side of the drive shaft. Uh, the rear frame rails look good on the car, uh, driver and passenger. Gas tank looks to be newer. 10 bolt rear. Drum brakes in the rear, of course. Taking a look up into the uh, compartment where the rear end housing will be when you set the uh, vehicle on the ground. You can see where the trunk meets the back seat area. Those uh, panels up there uh, are nice. No uh, rust holes, rot holes. Uh, frame rails are good, both driver and passenger side as they go up over the uh, rear end. <clears throat> Tires have plenty of tread depth and uh, between the uh, tread is not dry rotted or cracked. So tires are in good shape. Uh, drop downs on your quarters are good. Uh, you can see metal here, metal there. So this is the outer portion of the uh, quarter. This is the inner portion of the quarter. They're welded together and uh, you know, not much room for Bondo between those two panels. And uh, the driver's side is even nicer than the passenger side. Uh, the uh, passenger side looks like it may have gotten a partial quarter and the uh, driver's side looks like maybe a full one or you know, a half one or... Anyways, driver's side, passenger side, both done uh, fairly nicely. 1969 Chevy Nova. If you are a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and then of course bank wire transfer. If you're financing, the collector car lenders we work with will do up to a 10-year loan on our classic cars. 10% of the purchase price down, so if it's a $40,000 car, you're talking about $4,000 out of pocket. The remaining balance is spread over that 5 to 10-year period, whatever you get approved for. Approvals are based on price of the car, credit score, debt-to-income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, you know, all the things normal underwriters look at when you're doing a home loan, a boat loan, a car loan. Uh, so, you know, same, same kind of process. <clears throat> if you get approved for a seven-year loan on this car and paid off in two, there's no prepayment penalty, which makes it nice to own one of these classics or muscle cars, uh, sports car for your, uh, for your little fun toy. Once the vehicle is funded, we do a pre-delivery inspection process. We're talking about 40, 50, 60-year-old cars. Anything can stop working or stop leaking at any time. Did I say stop leaking? I meant start leaking. Uh, so we put it through the inspection, you know, before it goes to you, we give it one last once over, uh, make sure everything's on the up and up. When the guys give us the green light, we call a carrier for pickup. Generally, we can have a truck here within 24 to 48 hours, and then it's on its way to you wherever you might be located in the United States or in the world. Um, you know, our pickup times depend on, you know, where you're located at in the United States. Generally, we can have a truck here again within 48 hours. Uh, the whole process works a lot faster than you think. Once we're funded, it works pretty quickly. Uh, the car goes through inspection. The car goes through detail. Uh, a, truck is, it's, a truck gets dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. Um, and then it's on its way to you. Of course, if you are picking it up, then we call you and let you know that it's ready and you can come get the car on your own. Fun time. It's everybody's favorite part. My favorite part. I love driving these things. Uh, we're going to put the 69 Nova down on the ground and we're going to take it on a test drive and show you guys how it runs out. Okay, inside our 1969 Nova, we have a horn. Beep, beep. Fuel gauge works. Upgraded automator gauge package. Buck 70 on a temp. 
190 on the odometer, mileage reads exempt, true miles unknown, I don't know, my guess is 190 is since this instrument cluster has been put in. Uh, oil pressure and battery voltage, oil pressures and battery voltage, always good things to have. Uh, driver side turn, that little LED down there in the instrument panel, passenger, wipers, uh, radio, Uh, so, there's some brackets down here to stick out through the floor. I don't know what was there. It could have been a center console, but uh, those are there. Uh, four speed in the floor. Uh, the homemade center console that I showed you guys in the showroom actually isn't too bad of a, a, a deal there. Dash pad's real nice. Crank windows. Uh, absolutely crystal clear rear view. Seat leans back. Good stuff. Uh, so uh, I guess let's take it for a drive, see how the 350 runs. This is a nice ride. The car tracks nice and straight. The response in the steering is absolutely fantastic. Look how tight that steering is. Uh, the car's got good acceleration for a 350. There are no vibrations in the uh, drivetrain whatsoever. You can see the shifter's fairly steady. Um, Accelerates good. Again, decent power out of a 350. It has a nice smooth ride to it. There's no front end vibration out of the tires. Uh, nothing in the motor, the transmission, and the flywheel. The uh, speedometer, reading at 40, holding steady. That is accurate. Our temp gauge just below 180, which is good operating temperature. Usually on a 350, you know, about a buck 90 is where they settle out. Down here in Florida, it's about 85 degrees today. I'm gonna bang it through a couple gears up here. Brakes work good on the car. Look at how nice and straight that car stops. No vibration, pulsation out of the brakes at all. It's a nice Nova, it really is. The car's got a good look to it, real nice interior. Uh, Drivetrain set up nicely. Okay, are we ready? about 55 and fourth coming down on the speedometer car tracks nice and straight look 50 miles an hour no hands on the wheel wheels not shaking around cars not pulling left or right it's a nice one good car price right good look um, the uh, you know newer interior uh, real nice under the hood real nice trunk undercarriage uh, nice uh, look, you know, body design there out on the outside with the ankle stripes. Upgraded gauge package. Really cool vehicle. Wor a functioning radio. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in sunny Daytona Beach. Hankster's.com is our web website. That's where you can find all the photos of this Yanko style Nova today along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. At full retail price, the 69 Nova includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States, covers engine, transmission, rear end. Does not cover brakes, batteries, starters, alternators, oil leaks, the list goes on and on. Your warranty contract actually has, here is what is covered, here is what is not covered. So it's very simple to understand. Check out your temp. We're still below 180. Notice we're stopped. Car's not wanting to stall out. It's idling real nice. It's got a decent throaty sound, but doesn't have an exhaust that's uh, piercing to the ear. The clutch and the brake are kind of close together, so if you have big feet, you gotta be careful there. But other than that, it's a fantastic car. Is the price of this Nova negotiable? It most certainly is. However, we negotiate the price of the car. The uh, shipping comes off. Shipping's good at full retail price only. Also, that warranty I spoke of, that comes off as well. Warranty is good at full retail price. At a negotiated cost, we can help you 
Thank you. See, he likes it. At a negotiated price, uh, we can help you with a carrier. Uh, we have a broker we can put you in touch with. All they do is ship cars. So, um, you know, that's how they make their living. They can, you guys can decide open or enclose transport. You can make the arrangements for pickup. You can make the arrangements for delivery. You can pay the driver when they arrive with the car. Of course, if you're a collector, maybe you have your own open or enclosed trail or you want to come pick it up yourself, you can do that as well. And if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, Central Florida, you can certainly come drive this one home. No problems whatsoever. This is a nice one. We would love to earn your business to add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. Yes, we do export these cars as well, and we can handle that whole process for you too. Hangster's Hot Rods is in Daytona Beach, Florida. And again, our website is hangsters.com. Check us out.